Did you know that according to a 2023 study by MyFX Book Forums, nearly 80% of retail algo traders skip proper backtesting before going live? That's like flying a plane without checking if the engine even works. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to backtest your expert advisors like a pro, so you don't become part of these 80%. At the end of this video, you will learn what is backtesting, step-by-step walkthrough in MT5 platform, and how to read the backtesting report like a pro. You know how pilot spends hundreds, sometimes thousands of hours in flight simulators before even touching the real cockpit? They are not just learning how to fly. They are training for emergencies, weather shifts, fuel limitations, and everything that could go wrong. Now think about this. Your expert advisor is like your aircraft. Your trading capital is like your passengers. And the backtester is your simulator. Skip backtesting and you're taking off blindly no training, no drills, just pure hope. Before I show you how to start backtesting, what is backtesting in a trading world to start with? And what does it really tell us? Backtesting is the process of testing a trading strategy through an expert advisor on historical price data feeds in order to evaluate how it would have performed in the past. Does the strategy make logical, consistent decisions? How sensitive is the strategy to market conditions? And towards the end of the backtest process, the strategy tester will provide us with a detailed report showing us key metrics that every single trader must understand. Now let's dive in the back tester to see how it works. We're now on the MT5 terminal. We want to make sure that we are logged in into our broker to fetch all the symbols quality data. And we want to make sure that the symbols that we want, we want to back test are displayed in the market watch. If it's not there, you just need to click to add as it's mentioned here. Then we go to view and click on the strategy tester so that we will display the strategy tester console as you can see on the screen. We select the expert advisor that we want to backtest. In that case, we are going to use easy trend in this backtest and the symbol that we will backtest is GBPUSD on the one hour time frame chart. The date of the back test is going to be from the 1st of June till the end of the year of 24. And this is why I used custom period. You can use the entire history, which is an overkill in my point of view. And you can use last month, which is also a very, very small window. So I'd rather use the custom period and select something between six months to two years. Forward testing, set to no. That's an advanced feature that we can discuss it later on in another video. Delays, doesn't matter. You can select zero latency or random delays. Modeling is very important. For the sake of the demonstration that we're going to do right now, we are going to use the one minute open high, low close. Once we make sure that the EA is performing properly, we understand how the EA would work and so on and so forth, we need to shift to every tick based, based on real ticks. This is where the quality data from the broker will be used in the backtest. It's, it's mimicking what is happening in the live environment. Deposit is very important to also mimic reality. If you don't have $10,000 to trade, do not backtest using $10,000 because the backtest that you will be performing is irrelevant to what you will be applying in the live market. If your maximum capital is $1,000, backtest using $1,000. If the maximum that you can deploy is 10,000, then use 10,000. If you can do more, then you can just do more. You can do whatever you want based on your financial capability. In this back test, I'm going to use $10,000. And the leverage is something I set based on the broker as well. My broker provide me with one to 1,000 leverage so this is what i'm going to use if you want to be conservative even if the broker is offering you high leverage you can always reduce it as well optimization is going to be set as disabled since we are doing a back test and not optimization operation visual mode is very important to set so that you can see how the ea would be performing on the chart especially when you are back testing the ea for the first time once everything is done we go to the inputs this is where you put all the details or all the input settings 
of the EA. Of course, I'm not going to go through the details of this particular EA because each and every single EA is a totally different setting from one another. So you need to understand uh, very well how your EA is performing and pr mainly the vendors of the EA will provide you with all the settings explanations so that you can take it uh, forward. In my case, I set these settings before the recording of the video just for the sake of demonstration. And we click on start. Once we click on start, another window will open. This window is basically displaying the action of the EA, but in a fast mode. You can always reduce the speed by this bar. And also you have other buttons you can play with, zooming in and out, changing the bar type or the candle type and so on and so forth. And one very important features of MT5 is the display of the trades in as if it's the live environment, which is not available in MT4. This is why MT5 is way more superior when it comes to backtesting compared to MT4. I'm going to pause this video until the end of the backtest, and then we will display the report at the end of the backtest. Now the visual backtest has stopped. We can go to the terminal and check the full report of the backtest in the backtest tab uh, in the strategy tester console. You will have all the information that you would want to know about all the metrics related to this backtest. You can right click and export these based on uh, your liking. It could be an XML file that you can open uh, using Microsoft Office um, Excel or uh, an HTML. You can also have a view on how the balance and equity curve look like uh, for this backtest. Uh, very important to investigate to see, uh, for instance, why there was a heavy drawdown in, in October uh, till going through the first uh, week of uh, November before it picks up again. That's something that you would want to investigate, for instance. Now you have backtested your expert advisor. How would you read the final report? And what are the key metrics that you need to give attention to? Number one, net profit. This is the raw result of the total profits you would gain. It's very important metric, yet cannot be looked at in isolation from other metrics. Number two, profit factor. For every dollar you lose, how much do you gain? If above two, that's excellent. If below one, it's a losing strategy. Number three, maximum drawdown. Which is the biggest drop from peak to valley? Below 10% is conservative somehow, over 30% is risky. You could get margin call, depends on your leverage and margin requirements. Number four, recovery factor. How efficiently the strategy recovers after a loss? A profit of 10K, for instance, with a 2K drawdown, that's a profit factor of five. That is strong. Anything below two is weak, and actually below one is a losing strategy. Number five, balance versus equity curve. If balance rises, but equity swings like a roller coaster, big warning sign. Equity shows the truth, especially during open trades. Now that you know how to backtest like a pro, the next question is, how do you know which EA is worth testing in the first place? Because even the best testing strategies cannot save you if you're testing the wrong bot. That's why you need to check out the video on which we explained how to choose your EA and what five mistakes to avoid. Link in the description.